Engineering genius Guy Monson would develop a method in the 1940s that emphatically conquered the challenge of building at sea. Professor Luke Bisbee is heading out far into the English Channel to see the remains of one of the engineering innovator's most audacious and seemingly impossible creations. Monsell's influence in contemporary engineering I don't think really can be overstated. This was really the first time that this had ever been attempted, and so it was really quite a daring feat of engineering. It was an innovation triggered by the Second World War. At the outbreak of the war, it became clear that the River Thames was a prime target for German bombers, wanting to destroy London's docks and lay mines to disrupt Allied shipping. So civil engineer Guy Monsell suggested a radical new design for offshore sea defences. Naval forts consisting of two 80-foot high concrete towers, each containing four floors of accommodation and topped by a gun deck. However, the ingenious part of Monsell's design was not the layout of the fort, but how they would be constructed and deployed. These forts, like one known as Knock John that Luke is visiting, completely broke the mold. Knock John here was towed out three to six miles from where it was constructed on land, uh, and then it was sunk in place, uh, out exactly where you see it. Monsell's brilliant idea was to design the bases of the forts as huge hollow concrete barges that, despite their enormous weight, had the buoyancy to float. Monsell built the forts on top of these large concrete barges and then calculated how large the barges needed to be in order to hold the weight of the fort so they could be taken out and then sunk in place. After being constructed in a dry dock, the massive 4,500-tonne concrete forts were towed far out to sea complete with its 100-man crew already on board. Uh, when they had it in the place where they wanted it, they essentially just pulled out a stopcock at one end and let the water flow in. As the water was flowing in, the barge started to list in the water and eventually the nose dipped under the water. Footage from the time shows just how dramatic and seemingly perilous the process was. All 100 men were hanging on as the fort was sinking at 35 degrees. Despite its terrifyingly dramatic submersion, Monsell's groundbreaking design worked perfectly. The bottom of the barge basically filled up with water, and eventually the entire barge sunk to the bottom and flattened out. In the years ahead, the forts helped British forces shoot down 22 enemy aircraft and 30 flying bombs, not only protecting London from attack, but making engineering history at the same time. The influence of this type of construction you can see in all different facets of engineering today. You can see it in the offshore oil and gas industry with oil platforms. You can see it being used as foundations for wind turbines. And of course, you can see it being used as a way of placing foundations for large bridge structures around the world. And the most impressive use of floating concrete is at the Rian Antirian Bridge. <laughs>